Hello everybody. Welcome to Storytime on the Road. Today we are at Dinosaur National Monument in Jensen, Utah. And we are seeing some dinosaur fossils and um, some dinosaur models put together. And we'll show you some of those at the end of the video. But right now, let's start story time and let's read some books about dinosaurs. I'm going to. <laughs> First, we're going to start with our Hello Friends song. As you know, we make the sign for hello and we make the sign for friends. <laughs> <laughs> hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to read a book. Okay, the first book we're going to read is called Spot the Dinosaurs. And it's a lift the flat book of colors. It's illustrated by Amy Claire Barden. Okay, so you guys can help me figure out what dinosaurs are in here. Can you spot the red, this is red, red dinosaur? This plant lover nibbles with its beak. Who is it? Let's see who it is. It's a Stegosaurus. Look at that. Those are cool looking. And they're inside that the building that I'm looking at you can actually see some stegosaurus fossils so we'll show you those later can you spot the orange dinosaur its tail is striped and covered in feathers who is it I see some orange in here who is it oh it's a sinosaur oh my gosh it's a sinosauropteryx <laughs> do I sound like a dinosaur expert can you spot the yellow dinosaur? It has three horns and a big appetite. Who is it? Is it, oh, it's a Triceratops. Look at that. So many cool dinosaurs. Can you spot the green dinosaur? I see something here. One of the biggest meat eaters ever. It has dozens of teeth. Who is it? It's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Arr. Can you spot the blue dinosaur? I see him way in the corner, fast and fierce. It prowls in search of prey. Who is it? Hmm. It's a Velociraptor. Can you spot the purple dinosaur? This giant uses its long neck to munch on the tallest plants. Who is it? I, I, oh, I think I see that neck. Let's see here. It's a Brachiosaurus. Isn't that a cool book? Oh, it's not done. Oh, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. All different kinds of dinosaurs. That was a fun one, wasn't it? Let's read another book about dinosaurs. This is called, this is a silly one. This is called, If You Happen to Have a Dinosaur by Linda Bailey and Colin Jack. Have any of you ever owned a dinosaur or even been in the presence of a dinosaur? Hmm. If you happen to have a dinosaur lying around your living room and you don't know what to do with it, can you imagine? Maybe you could use it as a can opener. That's silly. It would make a great coffee grinder too. Look at the stomping on the coffee grounds or a nutcracker or a potato masher. And if you need a burglar alarm, your dinosaur is just the thing. I think a dinosaur might scare just about anybody that walked in the house. There are oodles of things you can do with a dinosaur. Try taking it into your yard. 
It will mow your lawn, trim your trees, blow your leaves, and dig you a garden in no time flat. <laughs> Look at his tail making a trench. It, yes, a dinosaur is handy any season of the year. On rainy days, it makes a fine umbrella. In winter, it is a snowplow. Look at all the mittens on the horns. That's silly. And on hot summer days, just park it by the pool. What an exciting diving board. That would be fun. Some dinosaurs make wonderful babysitters, but not all dinosaurs are suited to this work. <laughs> Some dinosaurs make excellent kites, but not all dinosaurs are suited to this work either. There are some things a dinosaur is just not good at all, just, just not good for at all. Do not ask your dinosaur to carry your picnic basket. I think you might go hungry then. Or push your grocery cart. Hmm or hold your popcorn bowl. I think dinosaurs are always hungry. Is your dinosaur small? It will make a dandy pillow or a footstool or a bookmark. <laughs> Look at that tiny little one. A tall dinosaur will clean your roof and wash your windows and rescue your kitty lickety split. Once you start using your dinosaur, you'll never want to stop. The possibilities are amazing. That is a goofy book about dinosaurs. And our next book is more about real dinosaurs, right? And that's what we're looking at here. But first, before we do that, I think we need to do Zoom Zoom, right? Put our hands together. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Count down five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Have you guys noticed my silly hat? I'm wearing this hat out here in Utah because we're doing a lot of hikes in the sun and it protects my face and my neck from the sun. Pretty cool, huh? And I think maybe a lot of explorers and hikers and rangers and all kinds of people that work outside wear some hats like this. So, oh, and look at this. He has a hat on like that too. This is called Nerdy Baby's Dinosaurs and it's by Emmy Kastner. And you guys, many of you know Emmy, right? From Kalamazoo. And she has a bunch of good books about ocean and space and rocks and weather and transportation. But today we're gonna read her book about dinosaurs because we're at Dinosaur National Monument. Hey there, nerdy babies. Do you ever wonder about dinosaurs? You probably do, because you're curious. Let's start by going back in time. Look at this big footprint. Millions and millions of years ago, long before humans lived on Earth, dinosaurs ruled the planet. These are different kinds of dinosaurs, Spinosaurus, Parasaurolophus, something like that. I don't know how to say all of these different kinds. Dinosaurs were reptiles that walked upright. Ankylosaurus, pterosaur is not a dinosaur apparently because it flies. And a plesiosaur is not a dinosaur because it swims. Just like reptiles today, dinosaurs hatched from eggs. There they are. This egg is big a hatchling. Their eggs came in many shapes and sizes and some were even speckled. 
To study Earth's history, we break it into big chunks of time. So here is a chart that shows different chunks of time in history, right? And um, <laughs> this little guy says, was I born yet? This is 250 million years ago. It's, you can't even imagine it. And dinosaurs lived during the Mesozoic era, era which is here which is divided into three periods, Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous. So this is, a this is even millions of years ago, and that's where the dinosaurs lived. And this is even before then, and this is after then. Dinosaurs first stepped foot on the planet in the Triassic period 245 million years ago. They joined other living things like grasshoppers and turtles. Wow. Do you know about the platosaurus? It walked on two legs and had short forearms. See how short its arms are? A long neck, a whip-like tail, and plant grinding teeth. So it ate lots of plants and it grind, ground them with its teeth. The Jurassic period began millions of years later with many new plants and dinosaurs. The shape of dinosaur teeth tells us about what they ate. Some were shaped like pencils, perfect for pulling leaves from tall branches. New teeth every month, apparently. Here's an Allosaurus. And later on in the video, um, you can see a um, model or a, a cast of a, an Allosaurus. And there's actually a, a fossil from an Allosaurus skull that I'm gonna show you later too. Sharp, hooked teeth were great for eating meat. I just have one tooth. Teeth with jagged edges were good for eating plants growing near the ground, like a, st like a stegosaurus would, because they're kind of short. Life in the Cretaceous period was thriving. Mammals, birds, insects, and the first flowers. There were more dinosaurs than ever before. Amplosaurus, or Veraptor. <laughs> This one has feathers. Some dinosaurs had body armor and spikes on their backs for protection against predators, while others had sharp claws and lean legs for attacking and running fast. Whoa, scientists have named over 800 kinds of dinosaurs so far. Look at all these. Dinosaurs roamed Earth for nearly 180 million years and many species never crossed paths. That means many dinosaurs never knew about other types of dinosaurs. Do you have a favorite? Oh, this says the smartest dinosaur was as smart as a chicken. <laughs> and this guy was as heavy as 17 African elephants. Then, after all those millions of years, an asteroid crashed into Earth and caused a lot of big changes. Dinosaurs and most living things were wiped out, gone, extinct, but birds survived. Did you know birds are actually avian dinosaurs sharing ancient relatives with the T-Rex? <laughs> kind of body shape. Today's birds had a lot in common with their large dinosaur cousins. Stones in their stomachs to digest food some of them had. This guy says, I'm not allowed to eat rocks. And here's some more dinosaur eggs that are similar to birds. What's that? Get digging. Everything we know about the Mesozoic era, we learned from studying fossils. Fossils are preserved bones, feathers, eggs, footprints, and even poop that tell us the story of dinosaurs. Dinosaurs get their names from how they look, where they were discovered, or who discovered them. I'm going to name one. You know, maybe someday you'll discover a dinosaur and you can name it. Paleontologists, those are scientists who learn about dinosaurs, love digging, making discoveries, and figuring out puzzles, just like you. Nerdy baby, nerdy kid, nerdy paleontologist. Stay curious, there's more to learn about everything. Rawr. <laughs> So that's our book about dinosaurs, Nerdy Baby's Dinosaurs. And now um, I'm gonna show you 
some of the fossils that were found here at Dinosaur National Monument. You can see some leg bones and some spine bones and see what else you can discover in those videos. You can see Miss Shirley touching a dinosaur bone now. Here I am. Isn't that cool? Can you see little feet? And by little, I mean big. This is an Allosaurus skull, one of the best preserved Allosaurus skulls or dinosaur skulls ever discovered. Thanks for watching Storytime on the Road. Let's do our goodbye song and then we'll, you know, catch up with you later. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Have a good week.